turns out the civilian informants were correct. It looked like the Obristan military was setting up some secret forward outpost. There were already free havocs down there. They also had an entirely complete up and running FOP for cargo and transport helicopters. When I hit those havocs though, I must have caught them while they were refueling. One hit and that whole makeshift FOP went up in smoke. Now the question is, what was their purpose setting up a base far past the lines? That seems really risky of them to do that. After landing, the base commander walked up to my aircraft and congratulated me on a job well done. He told me he was working out the details to join the A-10s in a strike the next morning. Before walking back to his office, he said, I know you've been doing a lot of those boring VIP escorts. I'm putting a stop to that. and Make sure we can utilize your talents. <laughs> that night I could hardly sleep. When I lay down in my bunk, my mind was still racing through the maneuvers I flew and the shots I took in the battle I've, I had flown earlier. I was still thinking about every phase of that flight. Heck, how do you ever get used to this, I thought. And coupled with the anticipation of the flight the next day, <laughs> sleep, it was an afterthought. Tomorrow did not come soon enough. I spent most of the night staring at the underside of the bunk above me, thinking about what kind of bombing or strafing run I might be part of. I sure did not want to let this squad down. They must have a bunch of combat sorties under their belts, and they're sure to be watching ev my every move. The briefing room was packed as usual. My squad was the first to get their assignment though. We were assigned a search and destroy mission on the foothills just behind the enemy lines. Our route would take us north, then east, swinging around the enemy line. We were to hit a convoy of enemy supply trucks from the flank. Light resistance was expected in the form of mobile anti-aircraft fire and possibly some nearby enemy helicopter gunship support. Our route was going to be an interesting one. We will need to stay low and behind the mountains to mask our movements from enemy radars. Uh, this is off the grid of the NDBs that I use for navigation, so I'll have to stay off the right wing of the number 2A10. Adrenaline was coursing through my veins. This was the first time I was going behind the enemy lines. Looking at this latest map, it appears that Obristan is starting to advance their front line. They're just outside of the Sukumi airport now. I can see the true importance of this mission. We need to cut off that supply route so our ground forces can start driving them back again. I was halfway through filing out my request for ordnance paperwork when the squad leader shouted, Hey, just let's just call for that stuff when we get out to the planes. Ain't nobody got time for paperwork. I better not forget to add my two, my uh, fuel tanks. This could be a one-way mission for me. After folding up the sheet and stuffing it into the, my pants pocket, I got up and chased after the other squad members. They were already halfway out the door. Looking past them, I could see that the sun was starting to rise over the hills to the east. Under a clouded sky, the rays of sunlight were casting long shadows across the airport ramp. It looked like it was gonna be a beautiful morning. Who the heck is that? Chief, turn on the ground power. Copy. Ground power is now on. Relic 1, 
relic one, is that you moving down there? How did you come out of that on stage? Your best bet is to head to the intersection of the two runways and use runway 20. The normal taxi route that would give you full length of the runway is blocked by debris. Use whatever taxiways you can to get there. Coming at runway 20. Starting now. Relic 1 here, we have a chute on its way down on the airfield. Make sure we have someone here to greet our newest guest. Ready for tasking. Our radar indicates that the first wave of attackers is retreating from the area, but there's a new three ship formation coming in. If they hit us, we're done for. They appear to be halfway between us and Guadada, altitude 1500 feet. They're flying directly over the shoreline. Take them out. Coming at 1500 feet between us and Guadada. I also have a visual on a aircraft still lingering above the flight line, but I'll ignore him for now unless he decides to take action against me. Relic 1, Pally Free, 12 o'clock. Moving in for a head on with them now. Four miles away from targets. They're popping flares. Two miles Fuckers, away from I targets. I have lost them against the background, but now I see them clear clearly. I think they're panicking. They're heading into the canyons. Or not. They're moving to engage, god damn it. Frogfoots. I say again, these are frogfoots. Like you got one. Keep it up, relic one. Must have crashed into the water. I'm innocent. I did not get that one. Thanks anyway. I saw some hits on that one. Still coming. 
plan. I wonder if they know I don't carry an invisible. Come on, just a little closer, please. Splash! I got this one, he's projecting. No idea where the third one went. Down goes the second one. Way to go, Relic One. This is Relic One. I do not have a visual on the third one. Uh, I can confirm at least one splashed and another one might have hit the ground. But I cannot see where the third one went. The last of the SU 25s are retreating from the area. Thanks for the help, Relic One. If it wasn't for that intercept, we would have had nothing to defend ourselves with. You'd better head up to MACOP. This base is going to be out of commission for a while. From Sochi Airport, MACOP is a heading of 358. MACOP NDB is 0.288, and the frequency is on channel 12. Copy that, Sochi Tower. Catch you later. We'll depart MACOP at this time. Uh, heading 358, channel 12. Utility hydraulics are at zero. Uh, I might have some probably. Bye bye. Relic one makeup. Stop by. I am currently using emergency landing gear. Uh, makeup, uh, power, relic one emergency. I don't seem to have any uh, control over my forward landing gear. I'll see what I can do about the problem, but uh, have fire trucks standing by, please.
Control, Relic 1, please have uh, target static mic. Way ahead of you, make up. Way ahead of you. 